back with another lit video for the channel. So you guys, I'm back and I'm better. I'm super excited because of this month, we're gonna be talking all things relationships, all things boys. You feel me? I'm super, super excited because it's gonna be fun, you feel me? So you guys, I decided that I'm gonna be posting like once a week because of this guy's consistency and I'm always busy and stuff. So I decided that I'm gonna post like once a week. Expect my videos from Tuesdays to Fridays actually. So guys, in today's topic, we're gonna be talking how to spot an F boy. So you guys, I'm super excited for this topic because of like, I feel like we're dating wrong people guys. Don't y'all think so? Like, I feel like most of the time we tend to date like wrong people. We don't really know the signs of whether you should just say, oh, see, this guy is an F boy or what, you feel me? So I was like, let's just talk about this today so that we can really spot an F boy, you feel me? I'm actually helping you out because if I've also been in a part whereby I did F boys, maybe like, two of them you feel me and it was not cool like it's very heartbreaking they are real heartbreakers so i want to save you guys the heartbreak you feel me but then before we get into this video do make sure that you give it a thumbs up right now don't forget to subscribe to the channel don't forget to click the post notification so you're notified every time i'll be posting a new video also don't forget to follow me on my socials so that you can keep up with me people let's just get into it so you guys the first one is he never initiates plans so you guys an f boy is always down to hang out but he's never really sure when he'll be available guys like it's actually hard to put him down on a plan and say which shop we're going on this date maybe even if it's tomorrow we're going tomorrow so, 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 so. because of he'll just say maybe like they're full of maybes yeah? like it's hard to put him down on a plan everything has to be done on his time which is totally unfair i mean you want to go out but then he's always on some no i'm not really sure if i'll be able to make it or i'll i'll finalize with you and whatnot like he's never really sure about some things you feel me you're always the one who's always putting effort into meeting with him into i don't know initiating dates and whatnot but then he never does the same for you you need to step back okay he is not in your zone right now okay you need to step back you need to run child okay if he doesn't initiate plans in jay if he never asks you to what are you doing tomorrow let's just go get ice cream if he doesn't do that cut him off guys a man that really wants to see you he'll make time for you that's just about it okay and the second one is he doesn't reach out during the day Guys, we all know this one, okay? If he's only texting you like during evening late hours, okay? If he's only texting you or calling you by then, like during the evening, and then he's not checking you out through the day or anything like that, sis, he's only after one thing, and we all know what that is, right? I don't need to spell it out for you. We all know who the king guy that don't sis, he's looking for a hookup buddy, not a partner, okay? Get it in your skull, okay? Because we all know Uguti. If a man wants to text you during the day, he will, okay? He'll make time to text you during the day to see how your day is going, to see how your class is going, blah, 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 to see if you've eaten. You feel me? So if he doesn't reach out to you during the day, sis, mm -mm, run, okay? Because we all know Uguti. He's only after one thing. Don't be fooled by all those cheesy, sweet nothings he always whisper in your ear. Child, 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 child. Don't be fooled, okay? Don't be, don't be fooled. Because of he's only trying to get in your pants, sis. He's only trying to get in your pants. Good guys, imagine those kind of vibes in jail. It's a big red flag. Imagine someone texting you only in the evening. Like the heck, where were you the whole day? You feel me? So, right. That's a big red flag. He's an F boy. Okay, so the next one is he cancels last minute with little or no explanation, guys. Like, imagine when y'all make plans to go to the movies, and he's like, maybe y'all just decided to see y'all gonna go to the movies like tomorrow. Yeah, well, tomorrow 7 p.m. Or he just tell you, um, tomorrow around 5 p.m. and just say, oh, I won't be able to make it because of blah, 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 blah. Or uh, he'll just say, um, I won't be able to make it. Sorry, I'll be busy by then. Blah, blah, blah. Child, child. I mean, didn't he know the previous day because he won't be able to, to make it to the movies like the next day? Nasa, you did it. Mm -mm. Child, child. You know, just cancels on you like it's a normal thing to do. I mean, if, if he has like no explanation or a little explanation like, child what are you trying to tell most of the time he'll just cancel and just say he's busy blah blah and like it will be a normal thing to a point whereby next time y'all schedule a date or something you're gonna be scared to even read his text because of you think booty this thing is gonna cancel on me like you feel me so mm -mm, mm -mm. child if he's giving you like those kind of vibes 
run. Any man that does not make time for you is not worth it. Just like it's like he's still not worth it. If someone wants to spend more time with you, he's gonna do it like regardless. He's not gonna cancel on you. Or even if he cancels on you, then he's gonna have like a valid explanation on why he did that. And then be scheduled to I don't know, maybe, maybe two days after or something. But all I know is that he won't ditch you. He won't put you last last because of he's trying to impress you. So says if he's not doing none of that, right. So the next one is it never gets personal. So guys, if you've seen this guy like three times already and y'all never got into a deeper conversation or on a personal level, then he's not interested, okay? He's doing it on purpose. He's doing it on purpose. This guy doesn't want to get to know you. He doesn't want to get to know what you did when you were kids because most of the time, if someone is interested in you, they'll go on a deeper level whereby they'll just tell you all the stupid things that they did when they were kids, all those, nye, 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 those kind of things. You feel me? Like on a deeper level, there are goals and whatnot, but then if he doesn't do any of that, sis, nah, he's not interested. Like, Trust me, he's not interested. So you better run, child. You better run because of you know Uzi. This guy's intention, Jay, is just not for you. You know what you're looking for? You want a steady relationship. And then if this guy's just gonna waste your time, sis, I don't think it's worth it. As long as it doesn't get deeper than his favorite beer, then sis, mm -mm, he is not interested. Okay, so just cut him off. Cut him off. Okay, so the next one is when confronted, he acts like you're crazy. You've, you're a child. <laughs> because of you guys let's just say for instance Nick, you just want to call him out on what he did maybe he cancelled on you or something and he just decided Uzi and he's gonna shift the blame on you you feel me acts like you have nothing to be like angry about yeah well he acts like everything is okay now like I mean, instead of coming up with a lie, I don't know, a good lie to just explain why he didn't pitch or why he didn't see you or why didn't y'all meet, he'll just try to shift everything on you and just initiate that you're crazy. Like, guys, <laughs> if he just shifts the blame on you, like, you have no fault. You're just asking him, why didn't you pitch on our date? And he'll be like, no, why are you acting dramatic? Blah, blah, blah. It's not that, a big, like, that big of a deal. In Ciao. Ciao. He's trying to make you look like you're crazy. L like imagine just someone shifting everything on you about what they did. Like how does that go really? Uh-uh guys, run, it's not worth it. Okay, so the next one is, you don't know the important people in his life. Is the last girl he posted on Instagram his sister or cousin or the sister or whoever or ex-girlfriend? You don't know, you don't know child. I'm not saying Uti, he should introduce you like right away but then you should know at least his best friend if you don't know his best friend that's a big red flag yo imagine you've been with this guy for a month you don't even know his best friend you don't know the person he hangs out with you don't know nothing about this guy what if it's a serial killer even if he doesn't have like a best friend but you should know at least maybe someone who hangs out with him you if you're not there who is he with at least wait to omu why one at least it's saying i'm not saying three just one okay so that you know this person is friends with these kind of people you feel me if he's not introducing you to the people in his life then it's a big red flag for me i don't know about y'all but then it's a big red flag because you don't even know the person imagine you all are together for a month and you don't even know his friends come on man okay and the last one is he wants the cookie too soon you you, 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 you. I, this is a major red flag. Okay, I'm not saying obviously there's an appropriate time for people to do the deed. It, it, like, it all depends on the people in the relationship. Obviously, you wanna do it on the first date or you wanna do it where. But if the guy is only talking to you about the deed only, J, J, there's nothing else. There's nothing that interests him about you. Then shut. You better run because of this guy's only after one thing. And we all know what that is. This guy is only after one thing. So if he's only talking to you about the deeds, or he's only asking for nudes, I mean, y'all never even met, but then apparently he's asking for nudes. So imagine that. Imagine. You'll just know, we'll see, okay, Shab, he's only after one thing, so let me just move. This is not for me. Steve Harvey once said, oh, I remember this question, this other lady said, Ruthin, Steve, I keep hooking up with the people that don't want a relationship. And Steve Harvey replied and said, why don't you stop hooking up? 
See, it's as simple as that. If someone is not giving you what you want, then you have to leave, child. It's like it's not worth it. So just leave. Okay. If you are a girl that um is into a good time, blah blah blah, and you want those kind of people, then it's cool. That's on you. You feel me? I know I'm talking to my sisters that like really want something serious. You feel me? So if y'all don't want that, avoid these kind of boys. Like just look into what i just said and then you will just see if your man you thought which is he's your man and he's giving you like red flags the entire time and you've been ignoring them or you were not noticing them child because if you're vulnerable mm -mm -mm, i love him mm -mm. guys it's time for you to look for something better just because of you deserve better okay don't stay for something that ain't worth it okay that's just the point so guys, this is the end of the video. I hope you guys did enjoy it. I hope you guys did realize the WTF boys are not the it things. You feel me? So I'm going to be seeing you guys on another one. Don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe. Do what you got to do to keep it all close. And I will see you guys on another one. Bye.